Hello, this is Ivan Irons, and we're back in Sheet Cam. We're going to go through the Sheet Cam Setup Wizard. And you can find this Setup Wizard. It's not something you're going to access a heck of a lot, but uh, you can find this in the Help drop down. Just click on it. Uh, there's a number of different options here, but you'll see one called Setup Wizard. Just click on that. And it'll fire up kind of a quick walk you through how to initially set up Sheet Cam Wizard. It's kind of a welcome page here. Click Next. This is going to be your preferred units that you work in. So depending on what type of uh, measurements you use or what side of the pond you're on, uh, you'll change these here. So here I am in the United States in uh, Seattle, Washington. Linear units, I'm going to use inches. Angular units, I'm going to use degrees. You can see the other selections here. And feed rate, we usually use inches per minute. If you're using metric, though, uh, check it out. You can have millimeters per minute, meters per minute, you name it. Uh, pick, pick whatever's customary for you. Click Next. You'll see here, this is our post-processor selector. Uh, this will be the post processor that we use for our CNC machine. You'll see I have one selected. Here is the list. It's a massive list of uh, various post processors that are available in Sheet Cam. And again, like I said in a previous video, you can get Art to, uh, or excuse me, Less to uh, program you one. Uh, you know, that's just a little bit different uh, depending on your machine. But you'll see this is the one I use. This is for my plasma cutter. And uh, it has a few of the details with it as well. You can scroll down and check them out. Uh, use metric units or use imperial. And I use imperial since uh, I'm in the U.S. Click on next. What, what type of machining do you want to do? I use sheet cam mainly for my plasma cutting and uh, like I've said before it's great for that so we'll just leave this clicked at any time though you can come back and change this uh, I'll show you that area coming up here and then do you want it to be able to cut multiple drawings at the same time and really this is nesting of parts if you've never heard that term what nesting is is try to use up the available square inches, feet, square millimeters of whatever sheet that you have. You're trying to be the most efficient so you have the least amount of waste. And uh, some of our operations, especially if you're in production, you're going to want to nest so you can cut, cut out multiple parts uh, at once. So we'll just uh, leave it as yes, click next. Thank you for answering these questions. Press finish to run sheet cam, finish, and you'll see this message here. You'll have to restart sheet cam for the changes to take effect. Just click OK, and you will have to do that uh, for those settings to become live. But I'll show you where you can go in and change those. Those are all in the options area, and at any time, uh, if you want to change those up, come on in here, check it out. If you go to complexity, you can allow multiple parts, which is our nesting. We had our set on plasma cutting, which is this drop down. And you can also click right here for rotary cutting as well. And really, what well, I'll do it here and I'll show you what it's going to do. Click, it gives us a few more options uh, for tooling and processes down here. We'll go in, look at that complexity again, and let's just click on plasma, take it away, and it removes the plasma cutter tool down here. So you can go in here, change this at will, it's not a big thing, uh, back and forth. So I'll set it to where we started. You can also go in and uh, select your pro post processor units, they can be in metric or inch, this is also in this options area, or you can select the post processor. So let's do that come in here's where all the different post processors are for some reason I want I had a buddy uh, somewhere who had a uh, we'll say a Dynatorch I could post process him a file or her a file and send it on over um, just by selecting this I'm going to cancel out of here and then the one other thing that you can change uh, from that wizard if you go into units here guess what here they are 
Uh, there's one other one that shows up, which is thread pitch, depending again on what part of the world you're in, you can go ahead and uh, change that to whatever's customary. So that's just kind of the setup wizard inside of Sheet Cam and how you can go back behind the scenes and change all those functions later. And again, you can, if you want, go right back in and run the setup wizard again and again. It's just going to have you uh, restart Sheet Cam each time you do that.